All right, folks, one more cheer. Let's hear it. An interesting little uh, piece of information here. Read, the Singapore government postponed Stanley Ha's entering date for the Army so that he could represent Team Titans here at the World Cyber Games 2005. That's awesome. That really is incredible. I don't, is there any other country in the world that do that? I, I, I don't know. It's, it, it, it's, it's amazing. What a, what a great country. It just goes to show how much support the Singaporean government obviously shows, not only to the event, but to the players of Team Titans. There you see on the screen, Maven Crew. They took third place last year at the World Cyber Games 2004 yeah. in San Francisco. And here we go, folks. We're going to go live as we start round number one, Titans versus Maven Crew. And we're going to see an interesting rush here by the Titan team on the CT side right away. They're going to make their way four men deep out of the apartments into the middle area. They are going to see one, two ducking down. Maven will drop Taufin. He was over there at just outside the hallways. And that means that uh, the, the terrorists do have the advantage there. But Pudgy is going to come back with one of his own. Or is taking it, take it down with a headshot. Duxter, and look at that. River from Maven has snuck his way into the B-bomb How, how did he get He's there? got the plant down. And an amazing move there by Team Maven. They're going to get a nice little chunk of cash there. However, the Titans are just outside that covered bomb site. Samo is going to drop one, drop another one. Strike Rex and Monster both go down. And Duxter following up. Look at that, the T first round, not only getting the plant, but coming out with the total kill round there. Oh yeah, that's the a bomb. now up by one. Them. Yeah, great first round from them as well. Titans are going to be, well, a little disappointed with that, I think, because that river managed to sneak in there, it just somehow appeared with a bomb. We didn't even know how it got in there. I don't even think they knew how it got in there. Here we go then, round two, straight away. And uh, now with Darkstar as the makes his way up that walkway inside the house. We're now going to switch back to the Titans, see what they're doing defense-wise. They're going to cover that cover bomb site as well. And uh, probably lay two up at the other goldfish area as well. But they are going to echo this round, no doubt about it. No, no point in buying right away. But Maven have had a partial buy. As I saw a couple of MP5s in hand there with Hears now making up that center corridor. And we'll try and sneak up on top of the hay bales. Probably going through that window as the grenade flies in. Two down the banana walkway, now going to go back and meet their teammates, potentially in the first house. Ah, oh, sneak around the corner, he comes out with a shot, headshot as well. Good AK from him. First man is dropped, and it's advantage Maven early on in this game. Now with Monster, he's just checking out, sees a couple of gunshots coming towards him. Ah, oh, pops around the corner, Razor, what was he doing there? Should have finished his man off, but didn't. And uh, now they're both inside, pistol to pistol, Samo wins that one. And then goes down to Monster. Bomb's been planted as well. Uh, Karma's going through them like a, a, a knife through butter, but he comes back in on him. And here we go. Maven have the advantage. They're going to finish him off with Dark Star and he as well. Nice combination at the end. And 2 0 already. We it's so interesting just to see the variation in strategies considering what we saw yesterday here on the stage in Counter Strike Source. A lot of movement around the map, a lot of working various areas. Uh, rushing one bomb site, throwing a few grenades. Oh, we're, maybe we're going this way, maybe we're not. Uh, really, just uh, some very interesting plays nice so far. Yeah, mixing out nicely. Now here we are in the third round, and we're going to see the Titans team up front. They are going to make their way across the hallway. They still have pistols in hand, so they are probably going to wait one more before they go ahead and buy. Setting themselves in the uncovered bomb site, we are going to see no push quite yet. In fact, the terrorists seem to be wanting to move up that middle quite a lot, using that apartment, using the various alcoves in there, and uh, enforcing where they need to enforce. So far, the A bomb site has seen absolutely no action but hold on let me take my words back here is we're going to see Duster MP5 drop not one but two Talpin and Striker X both go down but Monster comes up to clean up some slack Duster and Ors both go down he's going to come up with one more and he now just outside those par apartment staircase and River now with the bomb over in the bomb site nice job wow. by Karma he's going to drop him down and now Karma has a lock on that bomb oh. he's going to get another one he will drop Monster. Can Karma do it? He's down to 80 points of health. He is there. 100 points of health. AK back and forth. 
Karma's not going to give it up around the craze. A huge gun battle going out here. No one doing any damage yet. And will, will it come down to back and forth? What oh. are these two doing? Oh, the knife! Come down! down. Got him with the knife. Unbelievable. Wow. Those two dancing around with their guns. Both of them forgetting how to aim. Finally, the knife comes out. I can't even believe it. Three to zero Where now. did that come from? They were having a disco dance in that barn there, weren't they? It was the barn dance, and the knife came out at the end, and you thought, he's not going to get this one. He sliced him. Took the round as well, and Maven have a comfortable 3 0 lead. It's not going to please the crowd, but you know, they perhaps want these Titans to try and bring this one back, and they are going to have a chance here because they will be able to buy reasonably well. Just having a look now, down low in those corridors, ORS just having a look down that long banana corridor, oh lovely shot from Razor, nice. comes in with that AWP and the crowd like that one, and they do have a man advantage now, let's see if they can capitalise on this one and put one on the scoreboard, Pudgy just waiting gently, oh he's picked him out though, knew exactly where he was going to be, and that's another headshot, we're back to even Stevens once more. And there we are at the goldfish pond, which really those fishes need feeding, and they haven't been fed a bomb yet. They haven't. Back with he again, creeping along that inside corridor, does have some support here, making his way perhaps to the covered bomb site. Back to River. It's a gentle push this time round. Nathan patient, grenade flies in. Oh, then all hell breaks oh, loose. Uh, Telford comes in with one. Monster with another one. Telford backs him up with that AWP once again. Two shots in a row from him. And now they really have got the advantage. They've got to nail this round. And if they do nail this round, they're back in this game. 3-0 down, remember. Oh, gunfire from he, though. Takes out Monster. He'd had a good round up to that point. The still two. Striker just at the back of that cover bomb site. And round to the left-hand side as we look on towards... He's just going to wait now, patiently, with that M4. In hand, trained aim. Waits patiently. Man to the left of him is Taofan as well. So they do have an advantage here. Oh, down to 29. Nice grenade, though. Flies over towards him. Good guesswork there from the player. Knew exactly where he was going to be. And now he makes his way. Escapes back into the house. Got to take up a more defensive position here. He's up on the, uh, up on the lorry. Messing around on those railings. He's got to try and get a move on here because time is ticking out. He's into the bomb site with five seconds remaining. Plant's going to be made here right at the very end of the round. And then the headshot comes in. Telfin downs him with the AWP. And the Singaporeans will put one on the board with the defuse. Very, very nicely done. Three to one is now the round score. And, uh, you know, it looked like he was going to definitely get that plan. He had to make his way up to grab the bomb. Yeah, he uh, had no choice. Nice jumping there. Made it back down. Got the plant with two seconds remaining. But the Titan CT squad with two remaining. They were too strong. Took it down. No problem. Now the CT, they've got some money. Uh, they're on the board. One to three. And uh, we're going to see what happens here as we enter into round number four. They've been doing a good job so far in the CT, but we haven't really seen them have to exercise their A bombsite coverage too much. This time, however, we may see it, as I believe that must be Taufin with the op. Will he spot Ors coming up? Yeah, he does. Repeat performance there, just similar to last round, as Taufin now is going to back off and make sure he... He, you know, isn't now in view because now he has given away his position. But the A-bomb site still looks pretty locked down. One or two terrorists still sneaking around in that banana, uh, banana hallway, but has not yet committed to the uncovered bomb site. So it looks like a little rotation over to the B, but they're not going to commit quite yet. Where are the terrorists? We're not quite sure. They, they are down. They no longer have the man advantage. It is now one, two. They've got only three remaining as Karma drops he, one of the key players in this matchup, and Pudgy from down below into the apartment, Semo goes down, that leaves two more T, and this could be a chance here for the Titans to uh, close that gap between the two. There we see the lone CT over in the A bomb site, guarding those lemons and fish, making sure no one's gonna make their way in. Down to two terrorists, uh, the CT Titans have all five members, so should they win this round with all five men, that will put them in an even better position, and there it is, Monster and Karma finishing the job, the crowd goes nuts, and as they should, a fantastic job right there, as we saw them not only win that round with a kill round, but they kept all their men alive, yeah, they, they saved out. their guns, and they accumulated even more money. Yep, yeah, wiped all five, kept five clean as well. Means they keep all their money. As you said, it was a patient play as well. They didn't go rushing after those last two men. It was potentially easy for them to go and do that as well with two or three.
three man advantage. They, they could have just gone and hunted them down. They didn't. They waited for them to come to them. And eventually it paid off. Now, what we're going to see here, something slightly different here. Uh, first shot from this round has come out from Razor. He will equalise it up with the headshot from the handgun as well. They may have even echoed here, but there's a grenade gone in. And Karma strikes Duckstar down. And they do have another advantage. 4v3. Razor's coming with yet another. Uh, Taofan's coming with a yet another headshot. And that's the third in three rounds. You'd think they'd learn down that banana walkway. They just don't seem to, to pick it up every round. So here we are with Striker now. He's just got a teammate to the right hand side as the terrorists make their way through the gateway inside that first house. Trying to make their way to the uncovered bomb site. Oh, grenade comes down the corridor nice. and lands nice. at the feet of River. And he's going to be swimming in the river because that grenade took him down. The final one comes in now. M4 from Monster. And that is a monster round from the Titans again. So far, of all the CS Source matches that we have seen here in Singapore at the World Cyber Games 2005, there is no doubt I can confidently say that I have not seen a team have better grenade placement than the that, Titans from Singapore. Absolutely, at that was least fantastic. three or four kills with those HEs in the past six rounds. Fantastic work by that team. However, we do have a tie game now. Maven Crew, who won the initial pistol round, got the two rounds out after that are now looking at a situation where they may have to save pretty soon in order to gain some money back up. But we've seen no one die quite yet. We're going to see uh, a Maven make their way, prop themselves up a little bit. Taufin sets himself up outside the A-bomb site. Been a very successful position for him so far in this round. Taufin looking for that shot. He did fire one. He missed it. But they know he's there now. Will he have to switch his position around in order to not give himself away? It may be something that will have to come out here shortly. So far, almost 50 50 seconds into the round, no one down yet. The terrorists not yet committing to a site. We see Duckster and at least two, or Duckstar and at least two others going up the middle alleyway. Down to one minute now on the uh, on the timer. And who's going to make the first move? I, I don't know if the Titans are going to extend themselves out. There we're going to see Karma drop oars right away from behind. Pudgy is going to give a little surprise attack. It's not your birthday, but here's a present anyway. And look at that. The bomb has been planted. Snuck in there in the B-bomb site, the covered bomb site. Oh. Pudgy's going to come in and save Hello. the day. There's the defuse with 19 points of health by Monster. And that's going to be another round for CT as they are up now 4-3. to three. I think Monster's going to be a happy person because he really did monster them that round as well. Unbelievable stuff. Titans pulling out the lead for the first time in the game then have a round advantage now as we head into round 8. And I, I noticed Maven probably gave that round away as well. They, they, most of them seemed to echo that round so they didn't really buy very much. I would expected Titans to win. So while the crowd got excited, I think we expected them to win that one. This one, however, Maven now will buy. Now I'm going to push along that long banana corridor. Oh, there's one in wait for them as well. He's thrown a grenade out. He's going to oh, down yeah, both of them yeah. from behind. Orb comes in as well. M4 from Striker as well. There's three gone down in that corridor. It's Dead Man's Row. And Titan again have a three man advantage here in round eight. And again, the, actually, the bomb man is going to make it out into the bomb area. And uh, Karma comes up from behind. The bomb is planted. He's going to down the last one as well. And they will get another defuse. And Titans are playing the game of their lives. They will have a 5 3 lead. You know. Wow. Maybe, maybe it is being up here on stage. Maybe it is representing Singapore as they are the host country for the World Cyber Games 2005. But they are pulling out every trick, every, every single play in their playbook. Their practice has paid off. They actually traveled to Europe to prepare for this event. And they have prepared specifically for this moment right here in a very, very tough matchup. Both of these teams played Macedonia, and both of them did very, very very well. So we are seeing the best of this group going head to head and so far this has been an absolutely incredible matchup. 5 to 3 great. is the round score for the CT. That's the Titans and we we've just seen excellent play out of both teams so far, but the Titans they are really working this map to their advantages. Using Taufin a lot there. They are not oh. going to get into that bomb site. There's How another many times? one. There, How many times do they, that, they, they lose that every That's round. his role. That is his role. <laughs> Keep them out of the A-bomb site. Drop bullets into the skulls of the Maven crew. And over and over and over again, he has successfully landed those off shots. 
Now, once again, they don't want to assault the A bomb site, and why would you? Telfin and his amazing ops so far here in this matchup have just completely stopped him in their tracks. So they know where they're going. He will drop down Karma, but we'll see Titans pick up one, Pudgy picking up two, and from behind, Rip oh! Another round for the Titans, making it now six to they, three. They enjoyed that as well. They knew that was a tough round, and they knew they had to battle that one through. You saw their faces there. They wanted that round, and they got it. Six three then, round nine gone. Six to go for this half, and it is CT bias, so let's not just get too carried away, but that won't affect the crowd. They'll cheer every round they win anyway. Six to three, though, the Titans lead as we head into round 10. Let's have a look and see what they're going to do this time around. Are they going to make that same mistake of going down that banana walkway? Because Taufan right now, he has a missile in the AWP. He is not going to miss any of those shots. They aren't going to do that this time, actually. They're going to push up that center anyway. All four of them are on an echo as well here. So this is yet another round where Maven are going to potentially have to lose one to try and be able to buy next round. I mean, they've got nothing to lose this time round. They stick together this time. Who knows what can happen? But up against the orb of Taufen along that long corridor, and then actually coming up to the other side without any weaponry in their hands other than a couple of pistols, it's going to be tough work. They are going to make that five-man push along that banana walkway once more. Actually, the orb shot didn't come out that time. It was a miss. He's going to throw the grenade back towards them and fend them off. And now they're all coming in. Oh, one strike from Zemo. That was a lovely shot with the hand pistol. Here we take him down, though. Monster in on him. And we're back to 4v4 once more. He's going to get that bomb planted, though. And that is an incredible plant. How the hell did they get in there? Uh, Taufan will come back with a pistol shot. He's going to down a second one. Monster grabs the M4 out. He's going to try and take out a second one. He, though, has produced some brilliant shot and Maven crew have taken two now but Pudgy's come in now and will get the defuse here it was close and Maven crew will be very disappointed they didn't pull that one off having got the bomb planted but listen to the crowd they love it the Titans lead by seven to three with yet another defuse one thing I have to point out in that round is Maven they made a quick rush to the A bomb site it could have been suicide, especially with Taufin and his defense with the op. However, that was a save round for them. They got the bomb down, and even though it was defused, there's extra money in the bank, and that's yep. going to be big for them. It's going to help them out in the rounds to come. Now, the Titans, they're up by four rounds. They've got some room to work with. How are they going to change their CT strats? Honestly, I wouldn't change a thing. Taufin's got, he could, he could cover the A bomb site by himself. It could be a one man team if the only bomb site to rush was A. However, they've got the B to deal with. And Maven oh. has been going in there a lot. This time, Pudgy in the utility closet. He cleans things up, not only the hallways, but also that T as he goes down. We've got ores just outside. We do see a full on buy for Maven because they did get that plan. Oh, and from the <laughs> back, Karma not with one, but two. Simo will pick off Karma, but he will drop it down and give them the man advantage. The Titans now, four men versus two, seven to three, up by four rounds. Striker X and his teammate right around the, the B-bomb site. They're covering it, but will the last two T go to A? Taufin's still there for them to deal with. Striker's going to drop down Simo. That's going to leave a one-on-four situation. Pudgy's going to make his way into the apartments. Oh, River finds him with the op. Pudgy now, does he drop the up? No, he's got the bomb on his back. He's going to make it to the B bomb site. Again, they could get a plant there. No! Monster stops the plant. No money in the bank for Maven. And now it is eight to three. They're in a bit of trouble here right now. It is early days still, and it is the first half, of course. We'll see this switch round in the next round when they switch over at half time. But of course, while they've got the advantage of CT, they've got to take advantage of it every round. And they are doing that every round. And as you said, the money situation now for the T's and, and the Maven crew is going to be a pretty, it's going to be a bit tough. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them echo again this round. Uh, I can't see how they can do anything else. 8 3, they've gone for the small rush up there along the Palano walkway. I'm just checking their one looking now. And uh, actually, they've backed off. They're just going to wait now and see what they can try and do, because they have to try and produce something decent here. And the problem at the moment is Taufan's playing so well along that corridor, it's forcing them to go to the cover bomb site. There's a flash gone in, actually. He's blinded one. He's taken one man down. He'll take the second one as well. And that's a beautiful flash right there. And the third one goes down. Oh the fourth God. one goes down. It's one man left standing, and he's not going to be there too long. Oh! oh. Semo comes back with two quality AK-47 shots, but it's not going to help. Pudgy picks him off, and there's the headshot to end the round.
Maven, you know, they did take third place last year here at the World Cyber Games 2004 in San Francisco. But things have changed a little bit. Last year, the game being played was CS 1.6. This year, the first time that the World Cyber Games has ever seen the beautiful-looking Source. And, well... Titans must have got their practice in on Source because oh, yeah. right now they're performing very, very nicely. Now the round score is 9-3 to three with only three rounds remaining in this half. So far, one thing I have seen is finally Maven is starting to adjust to that A positioning that Taufin with his op has put down traditionally. Dropping a lot of grenades back here. But as you can see from the lack of guns, Maven has had to save. What they're trying to do is possibly get a plant, get some more money. The bomb carrier is going to go out. One, Hello. two, three, going down like Domino. Thank you for the game. It's game on. Ten to three. The echo round completely useless there for Maven, and they are having a tough time. They are going to have to step up their CT game when this round or when this half is over. I think they can do it, but. Every single round on the T side is going to count for them. So Absolutely. they really, really could use these yep. next two. They, they do need to at least grab one of these last two rounds of this half. They're going to make a five-man push all the way to the banana. And again, it's a HG for Monster along that banana. Oh, boy, he's taking a second one with the M5. Uh, M4 as well. Oh, Pudgy in with two. He's going to clean up with three. And it's five down in five seconds again. Two rounds in a row. And Maven crew are in trouble here. 11-3, the Singapore Titans lead. One more round, and then we're going to see what happens in the half. Maven, another partial save right there. Again, an excellent grenade kill by the Titans team. And it, when you can get those grenade kills on your opponents, effectively not giving away your position necessarily, not even wasting one bullet out of your clip of ammunition that could be a huge advantage for uh, for your team so they knocked them down one two three four five and uh, that means a lot of money a lot of guns in the bank of course it doesn't matter now we're down to the last round there Taufin at the a bomb site gonna get that off kill again there is a Galil down here so there is going to be what looks like another partial buy, a rotation by the Titans over to the A. Taufin with his op in hand. He's got a scope down the side. It looks like he now is in the apartments. He knows that there's a CT there, and he's got two covering that covered bomb site. He does get hit a little bit, down to 45 points of health. There a grenade goes in. That should take him out, and it does. He knew he was hurt. Karma drops him out. Oh, oh my God, two more for Karma. He is going to be the superstar of this half as Semo, one left. He's going to drop down Pudgy, drops down Monster. Will he be the one-man army? No! Karma no, no, getting no. his fourth kill. Health remaining. And the round, or the half ends 12-3 to three in favor of the Titans. And as you can see from the Titans, they look very, very happy about their performance here. And I'm sure that the crowd is just as happy. Uh, maybe not. Right. I don't yeah, know. Maybe right. also Maven. Yeah, did. we'll see. I, I, well, thought, I, I thought they would be happy about the performance of the Titans there, securing 12 rounds. <laughs> but maybe <laughs> in a row. not. I don't know. So 12 in a row as well. But I, I think without getting too carried away, I think the Titans will be pleased with that. 12-3 is a good lead. They won 12 on the bounce as well. They will be disappointed, I think. The only reason they'll be disappointed is to lose that pistol round, because effectively that gave Maven an extra free 2 round. It could make the difference in the second half. We'll see. The pistol round is the bread and butter of this matchup right here. If Maven cannot pull out the pistol round, they will need a miracle of biblical proportions to win this matchup. And as we've stated, the winner will or the winner of this matchup will be the one advancing out of their group so here we go we are live oh my gosh we see a team kill by the titans but they're still going to pick off two so that might not put them in a terrible situation on the t side this could be it for them one two semo is going to drop one down i believe that it is now a one on two situation if i'm not mistaken and talpin is going to pick things up was that uh, I, I i believe that that was live i believe that that was the first round for them yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Stunned silence for now, me. That, <laughs> I don't think they had on the main screen, but it was 1-0 on the terrorist side to the Titans. So they have taken the lead early on. They have taken it, the pistol round as well. Hey, help I, us out just, out there. 
And they have taken that lead, so they do have a one-point lead. They should be able to take these next two, and that's a crucial round win for the Titans. They have a 13-3 lead overall. They need just three more to secure this place in the next round and get out of this group stage. Let's go and see what they're trying to do here. River's going to try and boost one up inside the cover bombsite. One just making his way onto those wide wheels down by the goldfish bowl as well. And he taking up a position in the broken room, the uh, broken walled room. And Duxter just playing the waiting game through those wires. They know they have the advantage right now, Paul. They, they know that all they have to do is wait for the yep. bomb to come to them at this point. Yep. Let and, them and come. They, it, they've got all day. They can have a cup of tea out there. and yeah, they, they drink tea in Singapore, don't they? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're, they're, they're saving this right. They know they Absolutely. have to take it slow and steady. The Titans obviously don't want to rush it either, but here he looks. Well, three looks men, like they're coming the And just as we were saying, they were going to play a patient game. The Titans playing patiently, Maven Crew playing patiently as well. So let's just see how they're creeping here. Monsters use the little rock. He's gone inside that place and does take one down. Duckstar will come back with a very high quality headshot from the pistol. Uh, raises, uh, sorry, Striker's gone in there as well. And the bomb does get planted. It is in the goldfish pond area. And now it's all down to Maven to try and do. Oh, great shot comes in from Pudgy. He really is turning out to be a star turn. Down that banana walkway as well. There's two more waiting. And he will wait to see whether he can get back to that bomb. Meanwhile, he is ticking away. And that could be very dangerous here for Maven Crew. They have to try and get towards him and see whether they can get this uh, this round taken out. Karma's just uh, running away from the bomb site because he knows now it's all over. The bomb is going to blow. It makes no difference. Monster, I don't think he's on a bit of a suicide mission. He's going to go back to the... It, it doesn't matter to him. He's, he's got a pistol, so he doesn't care. There we go then. Two in a row. 14 rounds. And despite the fact that Maven tried to take him out that round, they are just a couple of rounds away from making the next round stage. Not only the 14th round, but if I am not mistaken, the 14th round in a row. In a row. In a row. This, uh, that's right, in a row. So this could effectively be the round that, uh, I mean, there's two more to go for them to secure they, the win, but this lose. could be the one that is really going to put Maven in the pressure cooker. And we're going to see what's going to happen because Maven had to partial buy. They know that each of these rounds are going to be important. We see a Thomas right there in the hand of Oars. Again, not much going on in the terms of action because each of these teams wants to take it slow. The Titans knows that Maven crew is very, very hurt right now in terms of money, in, in, in terms of what they need to do to win the rounds. However, the Titans have a lot of room to work with, so they don't need to rush one bombsite. They could go all out, and they could just rush the, uh, the, the banana tunnels, and, and it could be over. But they're taking it slow and steady. We've got one minute now on the clock. It looks like the terrorists are going to commit to a bombsite here. They've got some Galils in hands. I see some grenades out. They could be overpowering the A bombsite defense here. If they have one over there working the B bombsite, that could be exactly what they're trying to go for. Or they could be waiting to, let's say, the final moments of this round, rush in, guns blazing, try to get the plan, and call it good. There we see the invisible Semo moving around. Duxter now set up there. The first T is in there. Duxter gets dropped. 85, 1.0. He's down. Karma takes out Duxter. River with this Fama is not going to get one, but he gets two. Talpin does pick it up. River, Talpin going back and forth. Talpin stops River, but Pudgy still remaining. A four on two situation. They did get the plant. Will it be enough? Will it be enough? A two on two situation now. Excuse me. There's still a possibility for Maven to come in, get the fuse, oh. that could be it. He does get the Thomas headshot. Talbot coming in from down below. He's going to drop one. Ors goes down, but he could save it. He with the Thomas headshot going for the defuse. An unbelievable stopping the 14 round streak there. Maven finally coming out of their shell. Oh, there it is. The they defuse. have stopped them. Lucky they have man, said, really. We are the brick wall that stands in your way. And now. Titans, if I could give them any advice right now, slow and steady, just like you have been. You're in a great position. Maven, again, yeah. slow and no, steady, yeah, just yeah. like you have been. Both of these teams, just very important that, uh, that, that they don't rush anything here. Yeah, absolutely right. They, they don't need to take any risks whatsoever. So they just play nice and calmly, 
the game will come to them. Obviously, they can't stay there forever. They do need to be able to start planting to win these rounds. But they'll wait. They'll be patient. And the same for Maven Crew, really. It, there's no different. They can't really do much to force this game. They've just got to wait for them to come. Let's have, see how this one pans out. Round four of the second half now. 14-4 uh, overall score. The Titans from Singapore leading the Korean Maven Crew. Remember, bronze medalist from WCG 2004 could be going out of this tournament it's that close right now just two more rounds would be enough to take the titans from singapore through and put out the bronze medalists tau fan just waiting now high up in that banana walkway again underneath the arches two other players waiting with him the fish are silent in the goldfish bowl too trying to make no more movement at all along that corridor monsters creeping along has a teammate alongside him too Two men in support, no one hiding by the car this time round. They've checked that one out. They will have also checked out, here they go. They're going to fly in with that uh, smoke going in as well to cover them from the other side. The blinding flash. Ah, oh, standing against the wall. It was a great flash in. You might not have seen it, but Monster comes in. Seller will equalize his back up and make it 4v4. And they will get that bomb into the water he goes. Swimming with the fishes. Tao Fan downs one more though with that AWP. Titans coming back into this now. Got to try oh, and get in. Ah, oh, pulls nice. up another quality AWP shot. The whole of this team must be really worried. He's coming towards them right now. There the fire goes in. He's pulled off another one. Finally, Striker goes in. And the Titans have moved to within one of putting out the bronze medalist of the WCG 2004 and claiming their own place in the second round. What a great set of shots from Telfast. They're very, very close. You know, they, they've got the support of their home country here, and they have said, we can play. We are why. We are representing Singapore here at the World Cyber Games 2005. Maven, this could be an emotional moment for Maven, should they not be able to pull this one off. And I got to tell you, it's looking like it is going to be real tough. So let's take a look at the game and see what we've got going on here. A little bit different strat here as we're going to see two members of the T making their way around. Talpin with the op, looking down the banana hallway. We see Pudgy there. We see some AK fire up into the apartments. Pudgy's going to make his way into the apartments. If they can win this one, effectively they will be advancing out of their group. River there now. Looks like he's got a smoke in hand or a flash in hand only one left making sure to flash that the that banana hallway not seeing much action there in the a bomb site titan monster making his way up to the balcony jumping across actually misses the jump but uh they're taking it easy just like they have before they were uh, maven chose to be very aggressive on the t side Titans, they said, hey, we'll take this one easy because we can. Monster now seeing that there's possibly one enemy down the hallway, firing some shots through the wall there. We see a grenade cocked over there for the banana hallways, and this could be it. The rush by the Titans making their way into the A. There, that grenade is still cocked. Grenades come out by the Titans team. Here, Here they go, go, rushing in with Galil's. Maven, he making a quick rotation around. Oh, he's dropped by Pudgy, who was there to protect that from happening. Orge is going to drop one down. Duxter defending that area. Taupin is going to get an up over near the vision. Strikers going for the bomb plant after getting the kill with the Galil. And they are going to get the bomb planted. It is a two-on-three situation. Nope, make that two-on-one. Orge is the last man standing. 39 points to help. AK, can they do it? Oh! The Titans do it. 16 to 3, and they will be advancing out of their group. Amazing, amazing play, and they will still play out the remainder of the rounds. Well, I don't know, maybe they won't, will they? Uh, they've said the GGs, the GGs have said, and I think, well, maybe they are. Yeah, yeah, ORS says 30 rounds, we're going to play all 30. It may make a difference, who knows, but it's not going to make any difference to Maven. Titan are going to enjoy this one, and the crowd can enjoy every round now, because they are safely through. Unbelievable, though. I, I'm, I'm almost speechless. It, it's an incredible victory, really. These two I, plans are so uh, closely matched. You know, I know we're mid-round, but I know that the home country wants to give their team a round of applause. So, please... Let's hear it for Singapore. Fantastic. Yeah. 14 brilliant. rounds. A brilliant, a, a brilliant legend set. A new legendary moment in the World Cyber Games area. 14 rounds. And there it is. We've, uh, we've lost yeah. the Eggman. 14 think, rounds there we in go. a row ball. Game over. Win.
Maven crew are going home. Unbelievable play there. I, I mean, you know, seeing those first three rounds there by Maven crew. Yeah. Uh, you're thinking about, yeah, these, these guys are set up to put forth an amazing game. And suddenly, out of nowhere, one round, two rounds, and then they just start button up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen to win it. Singapore out of their group, defeating third place winner last year, Maven Crew. Now, when Maven Crew won the bronze, Last year, Shiva was actually so happy that he was in tears. Unfortunately, at this moment, right now, that was a tough loss for the Maven crew. He could be yeah. in tears once again. Uh, I think he may be. Pretty amazing game. I, I, you know, when you look at it on paper, I would have to say Maven crew would take this one. When they took the opening three rounds, I thought, wow, you know, here we go. It's easy stuff. They pulled off the first three, no problem. And then the Titans just home support, bore them through. It really does make a difference playing for well, your home crowd. Let's, let's go ahead and look back at what we've got going on. Again, we are going to play out these final rounds. Those 30 rounds should be played. Another grenade there by Maven on Duckster. But Pudgy with his third kill of the round is going to check in. The fish is no one around, so he's going to drop down that bomb. 24 points of health. A flick on the head would do it. But Orz is going to make his way in. He does have a chance. To win this round right here. 100 points help M4 hand. No, turns his head and Pudgy drops him with the AK 47. That was, uh, he, he That's going to make it to look to away at the wrong moment then, didn't he? Not a good time. But the Titans are through. They're happy. The crowd are happy. And uh, I think Singapore will be very happy. And I'm certainly the government of Singapore will be very happy having uh, sort of justified their decision to allow one of their players to go into the army later as well. It's an incredible decision and it's, it's obviously paid off. It's a great thing for Singapore to have that much support for their players. It really is good. So here we go. We're in the round number eight of the second half. Again, 30 rounds are played. The Titans have already won, but still. And, and you know what? If I was on Maven, I would say I want to play this out because this is versus a fantastic oh. team. And there it is, finally. After how many rounds there? 12 plus another 6, 18 rounds. Finally, Maven captures one back for their bag. Yeah, they've been struggling. and it's, I, I don't know how you feel about this, but how do you keep playing when you've lost a game like this? And you know there's no point. It's so hard, but you have to play through the games. They want a full score, 30 round game. I, I don't know. Do you enjoy it? Do you, do, it's so hard, really. I feel for Maven crew right I, now. I got to say... One of the things that the, that the World Cyber Games really promotes is sportsmanship and friendship and playing out those rounds in that manner is exactly what the World Cyber Games is all about. Yeah, the absolutely. friendship, coming here to compete together, going beyond the game, all of these things combined, that, uh, that is why they keep on keeping on. And we are going to see another CT round here by Maven. Unfortunately, a little too little, too late. However, they just don't want to give up. And, uh, and I, I don't blame them. You know, even though uh, hope might oh, be they're, lost. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, even though... It, you know, just keep going. They, they don't particularly want to play these rounds because they're feeling quite bad and stuff right now. But they're playing them. And they're playing them in the spirit that they're meant to. And I think that's great. I think one of the things the World Cyber Games does, as you said... Promoting fair play, it, it's really nice to see these, these guys, even though they've lost a really huge game in their history as well, they're still happy to play these games out, and I think that shows great character. A couple of shots there from Pudgy. Uh, Pudgy taking out one with the uh, pistol there on heat. He's actually a town fan's got oh. a couple of pistols. Uh, have they gone pistol only this round or something? Because they do. That's three in a row from the Titans. Uh, just having a bit of fun, aren't they? ORS with the uh, AKs come up with a couple of his own this time round. Pudgy's going to get another kill anyway, and the bomb planted it as well. They're, they're still playing. It's great to see. It really is. They did get another round back. We've got about five more left in this half. Uh, this time we're going to see Maven dropping some weapons down, buying so, uh, uh, a little bit more. And uh, it was so impressive here on Inferno seeing Titans not only great defense there on the CT, but also their, their great and very patient offense on the T. I thought the patience they showed when they were T was great. I know they didn't, you said, you know, they didn't have to rush, they didn't have to take any risks, and they didn't. It's so easy to say, yet so difficult to do. You see so many other teams making those mistakes. You know, they know they should be patient, 
but they throw round after round after round, and it's why we see so many of these 12-3 leads turn into 16-12 lo losses. It, it just changes all the way around, and that's because they can't can't seem to do the things that some of these top clans do. And I think the Titans have now joined that. Their their chances that they played in uh, the matches they played in Europe have really helped them. They've they've had some great games over there. I know of. And uh, that their training and their preparation for this has been faultless. And Tao Fan's aim uh, has just been all absolutely extraordinary. Another orb shot in this round as well. Darkstar is going to take a couple down though. He's not giving up. He wants Maven to pick up another couple of uh, rounds here and make it a respectable score because let's face it, 20 to 24 6 would be pretty pretty horrific in, in terms of a scoreline. Oh, wow. Darkstar <laughs> did go for the defuser. I, I, I don't I even think say, he had a kit. I, I thought on he was going to get it, but no. Monster ends it up as we enter into round number 12 now. Uh, four rounds remaining here in this half as they play them out. Once again, the, the crowd here of the host company, very, uh, host country, very happy to see their team perform so well, especially during uh, 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 against the team who had gotten the third place medal last yeah, year at the World Cyber Games 2004. So here we go uh, on the T side. We're still going to see slow pushes here uh, by uh, the Titans. And even when they're in a position where they've already won the game, they're still playing in such a way that this is how we would play versus the rest of, of the teams here in the competition. Yep. So we are going to see Stryker with the Galil take out Duxter. River's going to answer back, dropping Karma. Taupin with an AK headshot on Simo. He will pick one up himself. And we're going to see River making his way around a rotation to look, looks like the A bomb site. Stryker X just outside. He had a grenade in hand, switched over to his AK. Orz is going to drop him with the pistol shot to the head. And that's going to leave two CT to extend themselves back out to the A bomb site. Taupin's going to drop one. That is he with the AK-47. River coming around now. I think that they're rotating over trying to find that last T. Pistol in hand. River's going to drop back to the CT spawn. Set himself up back uh, behind the fountain there. And uh, no, no action so far here. He's going to extend himself back out once again. Pistol in hand. Creeping away. Being very, very quiet. Not to alert the T side. And here we see Taufin, 26 points of health, going around. It looks like River's going to put himself underneath the streets of Inferno. They're going to meet eventually. The round clock's at 23. Taufin is going to go ahead and drop the bomb. Add some more money into the bank of the T side. Here comes Maven River around the side. Still with the pistol in hand. He knows that the bomb has been dropped at the covered bomb site. But not a lot of action in this one-on-one -on -one competition. Here, Maven is going to extend themselves out a little bit. He sees the bomb. He's going to check around. Look both ways. Oh, there is Ors. It's a one-on-two situation. Maven, Taufin is found. Taufin drops Ors. Rivers knows exactly where he is. River down to 14 points out now. And Taufin oh. still pulls it off. Nice stuff. In a one-on-two really situation. On Nine to three now not, in not the only, second half. Not only are those hay bales on fire, Taufin is on fire. He really has made the difference. If you have to name a man of the match, because it's difficult, five men makes a team. You'd have to pick him. His AWP stuff in the first half was incredible. His second half stuff equally as impressive. And uh, all the way through, he, he's been really good. Here we go then. Uh, round 13 of the second half. Just a couple more to go as we follow Duckstar. He's gone uh, taken up a position behind those sandbags in that long banana corridor. Ah, <laughs> what were we saying about orb shots? There comes Monster with one this time round. He's taken an orb out, taken down Duckstar. So, you know, there's a number of players who can AWP on this Titans team. They're looking really quite sharp, even at this stage of the competition. I know it's early, but they've shown some really good form. And, of course, they don't have to cope with the jet lag either. And I, th ah, I think that's early on. That's going to make quite a bit of difference for them. Take nothing away. They've played stunningly well, though. Taufan, again, as a knife comes in from he. Wow. And only one knife early on in that game as well. That was an impressive knife in the first half. But we've seen another one now. And, uh, well, Pudgy goes in there. Bomb's going to get planted in the goldfish pond. And now he waits, and Oz is there. <laughs> we whipped out the knife. I thought he was going to go running in. Uh, finally comes down. Shots come in from Stryker. And that's going to be another round in the bank to Titans. That's the tenth this time round. And they really are. They, they, they're showing their power right now, but they're not showing too much. And they're going to keep on going with two rounds remaining here. The final two rounds of this matchup, as all 30 rounds will be played out. We're going to see Maven, what looks like...
I, I think they've pretty much been buying. So at this point in time, they, they don't have anything uh, in their arsenal at all. So what will the Titans do here in this situation? They've all got AKs and some uh, others holding on to those ops. In fact, we saw Monster carry around an op of his own right there. We're going to see one throwing some grenades down with the fishes. Wars is going to come on through. He's in the utility closet. Taufin drops him AK to the head. Pudgy also answers with one of his own. And now we are on a three on four, five situation. But Simo drops one. There's another great grenade by Pudgy. Karma's going to sneak on into the covered bomb site. He lays the, the bomb down after entering that code. And with two rounds remaining, the terrorists looking to repeat their score of the first half. Doing really well as well. Simo coming in with a, a famous shot there. And, uh, well, I just think t yeah. Titans have been, just been so good. They really have. It's, it's hard to fault what they've done. I mean, Maven's now going to come in. They're going to get it diffused as well this round. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, no, Karma's has come around the back and has su surprised them. But Duckstar will now finish him off. Stands I think it calmly. might go. I don't know if they're going to get nope. this one. This is going to be pretty close. Oh! oh last right second end. to fuse there. Good job he packed a kit. Good it, job he packed a kit. You know, and, and, and in a situation like that, they may not have bought a lot of guns, but he is really, really happy that he picked up that defuse kit. Isn't he? Else yeah. he would have been playing with oh. wires on that bomb all day <laughs> long, and it would have gone off right in his face. So here we are, Lesson. the last round of the game. And... You know, Maven did pick up another one. To their credit, the rounds for them now seven rounds to, or total uh, to Titans 22. Quite amazing. Will it be the Titans' final rounds? Will it be the Maven crew's final rounds? We will find out here in just a moment. We're going to see he get the first round of the game or the first kill of the game. Two famous shots. One on Karma. One on Pudgy. Striker X going to answer with a little shot of his own. Drop it down. He getting a little bit of teammate vengeance there as River picks. <laughs> one up not one not two and oars and that means the last round will go to maven but ultimately it is the titans from singapore with an amazing amazing 14 round accumulation in a row to win good games are exchanged and it was gg indeed it was gg all round also another announcement to be made if you loved what the Titans had to show here on the main stage tomorrow at the cyberspace here at, 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 the, at, at the World Cyber Games 2005, once again, the Titans will take on Team EG, Singapore wow. versus Canada, in what will be sure to be That'll an be amazing huge. match be over incredible. at the cyberspace tomorrow. So, you know, Paul, there's not much to say about that match except for what amazing skills the Titans showed here on the stage to their home fans of Singapore. And they loved it as well. Everyone in Singapore seems to be in this room right now. And they were all cheering as well. And, uh, well, I, I, it was a fabulous game all round. A fabulous game. And coming up next, well, no more on the stage, but tomorrow... Be sure to join us. We're going to have more action here at the World Cyber Games 2005 in Singapore.
connected now in a powerful way. We celebrate our diversity around the world with a passion to play. The planet will be watching.